Let's discuss how to get a Shih Tzu puppy to stop biting. Now, Shih Tzus have a pushed in face, pushed in nose, and they have a lot of teeth in that mouth, just like any other breed does. They have baby teeth that start um, dropping and adult teeth start coming in uh, at various times. Uh, by six months of age, most of the teeth should be in. But during that time, um, Shih Tzu puppies and most puppies are going to be teething. And so what, they're, what we're talking about is biting on your hand um, and, and basically chewing on everything. There's a big difference in puppies uh, to know. One is gonna be, is this an aggressive type of bite or is this just play biting? And so what we're trying to discuss here is how to stop play biting. If there's any aggression and growling and snapping, that's something you need to talk um, over with your veterinary clinic, your veterinarian about uh, behavioral modification, things like that. Um, when they're teething and biting on your hand, and which can hurt because their teeth are really small and needle-like, what you really wanna do is, is reinforce positive behavior. That is, if they are chewing on something they're allowed to, like a rope bone, for instance, positively enforce that, praise them, give them a small treat. If they're chewing on your hand, you want to stop them immediately right then, tell them no, use a low tone of voice, and then apply something that they're allowed to chew on, and then praise them for chewing on something that's, that's normal. Now, also to get them to stop biting, use just regular types of commands, you know, get them to learn to sit or stay, something like that, because all those types of things reinforce uh, that you're in charge and that they want to listen to you. So when they're biting and chewing on everything, again, you're going to supplement toys and positively reinforce them. If they're, again, aggressively biting, then you're going to do some of those same things, but use more aggressive training, um, and, you know, and trainers are available, classes are available, things like that. But check with your clinic on that because there are a wide range of behavioral issues uh, that can cause biting.